I've just posted a little video. Has Scotland been robbed blind for 317 years? The answer, as far as I can see, is yes. But let's just take an example. I know you'll say, oh, that's Scotty McClure banging on. I'm not political. I'm apolitical. Uh, but I am interested in the economics of it. And I have seen Scotland absolutely robbed blind Really, I suppose, since the Second World War, I'm a child of the mid-1950s and 60s, and 70s, I suppose. And I've worked since I was 12. You could actually have a Saturday job then, and I've worked since I was 12. But what have I seen? Where are the shipyards of Scotland? Where is uh, Scots, Lithgow's, Alexander Stephen, Harland and Wolfe? You know, where are they all? Hall Russell Aberdeen, Robs of Leith. Where are all these? Where are all the uh, wooden boat builders? Fantastic old names as well. Where are the fishing fleets of Oban and Tarbert and Ardrishig and Campbelltown? And uh, where are all the steamships, the pleasure steamers? I know you'll say to me, oh, yes, but things move on, Scotty. Where are all the mills? Where are the factories? Where's Leyland's at Bathgate? Where's Ravenscraig? Where are all the mines? Where's all the uh, the smelters and the blacksmiths and all the things that went with it? And this is what we've got to look at. Where are all the railway connections? You used to just walk a few yards and you could get a train to anywhere in the world from anywhere in Scotland. Does anyone remember the Murray's Diary? A few pence at the news agents. So all that sort of thing. Look at our towns. Look at uh, Stirling, look at Greenock, look at Paisley, look at Port Glasgow, um, look at Hamilton, look at Wishaw, look at Coat Bridge, uh, you know, look at Edinburgh, look at Glasgow, um, look at Perth, look at Dundee, look at Inverness. Then also our deep water ports, the oil and the gas industry. So all that money is suddenly disappearing now, I know. The bulk of it, well, it all goes to Westminster and it usually gets frittered. But having said that, I think it's time for Scotland to rebuild her economy, to start trading with Europe and to say to Westminster, look, if you won't let independence happen in Scotland, let Scotland keep its own income until it's fully rebuilt.